I love the look because it's a super cute bob. It's effortless. And look at them roots, honey. What a track set. everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 mm. y'all I'm literally sucking on tea bags <laughs> I did not mean to say it like that there's nothing in here how are y'all doing today girl already y'all already know it's a mess it's a mess out here hope you're doing well hope you're doing fantastic i hope you enjoyed your weekend your super bowl weekend your valentine's day weekend it's black history month girl we got a lot going on now we're back here we're here to talk about her we're here to have a little sip have a little drink and just chat y'all see this hair this is what we talk about today y'all see this it's giving boss it's giving Bobbiana. I can't wait to give y'all the details on this hair. But before we do that, I gotta ask y'all a little favor. If you're feeling generous, could you hit subscribe? And can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? We be hanging out at least two to three times a week. So, I got plenty. Of, did I just whistle? In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into this wig. And y'all can scurry along and do whatever y'all was doing before y'all got here. So, I want to say thank you to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video this wig is the kinky curly v part wig from the dual hair it is 16 inches long and 150 percent density i'm gonna tell y'all about the cap construction like i said this is a v part wig so this wig allows you to have leave out but it also clips to your head so you can easily remove it now they give you a whole bunch of combs so this wig don't go nowhere so this wig came with five clipping combs around the perimeter of the v-part and also three sliding combs around the perimeter of the head and adjustable straps in the back so it's a whole contraption up in here it's holding on for dear life of course, when I received the wig, it came inside of the Nadula hair box. And inside that box, they provide gifts. It comes along with a wig cap, lashes, a satin scarf, and some alligator clips. Of course, inside of that box, not only do you get the gifts, but you get the ultimate gift, which is not a gift, girl, you bought it. <laughs> you also get your unit or your wig. And when I received this wig and I pulled it out of the box, it came in this gorgeous kinky curly sort of texture now the curls didn't look like this the curls came out like in a machine curled sort of texture so you can definitely wear the hair out of the box it wouldn't be my preference because i like to do a little something to my wigs now it was 16 inches long but i did have to clip some ends off and layer it a bit now i'm gonna tell y'all right now y'all already know if you've been here before i don't i'm not a girl that can cut hair but I'm good at like making it look like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just fake it a little. Y'all see this? It's so cute. But guess what I didn't do? These edges are not out, girl. That's giving straight up baby hairs. Straight up baby hair comb over. Hello? But when the wind blow, the girls won't be able to tell. But I did a little bit to the hair. I didn't have to do too much. And I love how it was just easy to customize. But I did a couple things just to give her a little zhuzh. Just a little pep up. Just a little lift not my little baby curl coming out hold on so if y'all want to see everything i did to customize this wig give these curls a little bit of a bounce to trim her cut her and you want to see how i laid it down please keep on watching and then i'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and the coupon code Ooh, y'all see my little mug i feel so proud to show up with this mug i just wish my invisalign didn't hate on my vibe because the straw just really it ruins it but whatever we're about to get into putting on this wig okay, i'm gonna start with my base now my hair is always crusty okay if you're new here just know that i have crusty hair it's always gel dandruff something in it i just washed my hair like three days ago always got it got some crumbs in there but that's fine so we're starting with the base okay so we're gonna let our hair out now i told y'all every single time i wash my hair basically i I cut it, I cut my hair, my hair is still pre-stretched and I'm telling you day by day, it's getting healthier. So, since we're doing the middle part, we're gonna start with the middle part and I'm 
I'm going to part out like a little section of hair. I need a mirror. Y'all be trying to do stuff without the mirror and it really just makes me frustrated. I don't know why I do that. Okay. Okay. So now that we've determined, well, that's not perfect. That's not perfect at all. A little bit more hair. Okay, we're gonna braid this section away and then we're just gonna do our base. Now with my base, you can do whatever you want. Like the base is what's gonna be under the wig. I like to just tuck away the rest of the hair. I don't like to have edges out. I don't like to have anything else out but this little tiny section right here. And how I like to do my base is I do two French braids, but I make sure I braid along the leave out area and then I braid down because I have to create an anchor braid for my wig to sit on. She needs a chair and it's gonna be that braid. So I don't know why I put on press on nails. Now some people do cornrows, some people do like whole ankle braids, all that type of stuff. I can't be doing that. We're just gonna do two low tension braids. Is this low tension? I don't know. So I'm just gonna braid back and then braid down. And we're gonna do the same thing on both sides. Okay, so our base is done. Let me spin around in my little chair. But that's what it looks like in the back. A little braid down, a little braid down, bust down. Is that how you say it? Bust down, braid down? <laughs> bust down's a watch, ain't it? What's bust down? Children, tell me what's a bust down. So we got the two braids down. And now we can go ahead and put on the wig. This is what the wig looks like. So we have one, two, three, four, five combs and three sliding combs. This little comb in the middle gets on my nerves. I don't know why, but. I don't know what to, I don't be knowing what to do with it. And now we're gonna just try on the wig. So when I clip it in, I clip it in from the bike. I probably should do it from the front, huh? No, that's right. Oh, this is what the hair is looking like. What am I doing? So I think we're about to do like, almost like a kinky curly Bobbiana. Cause this right here is not gonna work. We need to style it. This is what the wig looks like right out of the box. I didn't wash her. I didn't put no product on her. This is what she looking like. It's probably better to wash it before cause you can get more of a feel for the length. But I'm a professional. This is what we gonna do, bruh. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these curls and kind of detangle the hair lightly. I need to be careful because I about, that hurt girl. We gonna throw it out just a little bit just so I can get like a real impression of what this hair looks like. So this is what I'm gonna do. We need to cut it. <laughs> this is how I like to do it girl. I like to live life on the wild side. Hello? I make a little wig scarf <laughs> and then I just cut it. Most of the time it's not super even but it's even enough, you know? So I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, I cut a lot off. Oh my God, that made a world of difference. And I only cut off like a little bit. I didn't cut off a lot. Now I can see what I'm doing. Before them ends, girl, I couldn't see what was going on. Y'all know how I like to do. I think I'm gonna do like layers. This is how I do like my layers on the front. I do like a little triangle like half a triangle. I always say angle, but like a small, a cute angle. Small angle. Like this. And I'm just gonna cut into it, layering. And I think I'm gonna layer from my lip. This is curly hair, so. And I'm gonna angle downwards. Here. And for this part, I'm not even gonna angle around this part. I'm just gonna cut. 
cut like the little excess hairs off. But I don't know if I want it to be angled back here. I kind of want the curls to be a little bit more messy because I don't want the hair to be too round, you know? So I'm just cutting off like the little light ends. There's no rhyme or reason to this part. I don't know what I'm doing. Y'all know I don't like to lie to y'all. I don't know what I'm doing right here. I'm just looking at the shape and just kind of cutting off the extra pieces. See, it's like a couple of pieces that are sticking out. So I'm just gonna cut them. And this side's done, girl. <laughs> Quick and simple. But you see like the difference between the two sides? Like this has more shape. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna do a little small angle. chopped up like a chopped salad it's giving uneven like this side looks longer than this side this is longer than this but i ain't gonna stress about that we just about to moisturize and get these curls popping and see what we came up with <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add some moisture to the wig what i typically use to moisturize like my v-part wigs and stuff like that is the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus first free curl mousse i love this stuff but i have not been able to find it in stores I don't know who been buying it, but I cannot find it. I had to order some off Amazon, so I have some on the way. It's always sold out. So I have like a few products here that I'm gonna have to mix together and make some work. So I have the ORS Olive Oil Hold, Hold and Shine Wrap Set Mousse. I have that, and I have some of the Kintu Curl Activator Cream. So girl, we just gonna use all these products and we are gonna mix them together because this is not enough. Well, maybe it is. We'll see what we get, but at the top curls, I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna save it as much as possible. And if I have some left over, I'll add it to the ends again. So, so we're gonna section this hair away. Oh, it's giving realness. No hair is left out, but it's giving realness. Well, at least to me, I'm probably lying to myself. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side and I'm just gonna add mousse all over the hair. Am I yelling in y'all's ear? I'm gonna section this part away and I'm gonna add some mousse. Let's see what it feels like. Fluffy mousse. Let's see. Uh-huh. It feels smooth, okay. Okay. I like to add the mousse and then I like to use one of my favorite brushes. Now I told y'all about this brush in my Amazon favorites video that I uploaded on Monday. Look at that. Ooh, why am I showing y'all that? What is there to see? It is an amazing brush. It does a great job like detangling and clumping curls. So I'm trying to clump up. Yes. But on the bottom, I'm also going to add the moisturizing curl activator cream to the hair as well to see if I can really get these curls to like do what I want them to do. Just a little bit. Yes. Oh, now they juicy, girl. Oh, yes. These are juicy girls. Mm. I don't need to be making all those sounds. This is not necessary. <laughs> they need to like clump together and then I separate them afterwards. See, that's the goal. So when I separate them, they're like, like it looks a little bit more fluffy after they're clumped. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. 
I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. Okay, so we're gonna continue on this path, adding the mousse, clumping the curls together, and just keep going until we get to the top of the head. Once we get to the top, I think I'm gonna use this mousse. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'll be back when it's time to diffuse and dry the hair. So we have added all of the mousse and girl, it was a messy situation in here. But we finally got it. Now we got shrinkage and I have no idea what this hair is gonna look like when it's done. <laughs> right now it's giving mullet. I ain't too worried about it because I know how to, I know how to, I know how to tweak wigs. So we're going to go ahead and diffuse this hair and make sure we can get it dry and all curled up. I'm hoping we can get this done quickly. We're just gonna go ahead and dry this hair. I'm gonna use, this is another one of my faves, baby. I'm gonna use my Revlon blow dryer. This blow dryer is, I'm gonna blow dry this on high and warm. I'll, I'll alternate between high and warm and high and cool. And I'll be back to do the leave out.
So we took the wig off to let it dry and I turned the wig upside down to dry it to get more volume in the roots because I love like big hair and because it's shorter I do want it to be like fluffier and bouncier. I don't know what this does for me but so now that that's off since the wig is off and she's drying off to the side we're gonna go ahead and get these baby hairs together now i already have baby hairs but i want like extra baby hairs so i'm gonna use our baby hair brush and the olive oil fix it grip gel i really should have washed this baby hair brush i'm about to scrape my forehead and y'all know i like to do a comb over baby hair with my natural hair because i ain't got a lot of hair so as we do so i'm just gonna add the baby hairs I'm just gonna comb it forward and we're gonna do the same thing on the ear tabs so our baby hairs are crispy and dry girl they ain't going nowhere look at that and our wig is dry. We're gonna go ahead and throw her back on. I think it's dry. It's hard to dry. Let's go ahead and plop her back on. Ooh, it's warm in there. Put the wig back on here. Now we gotta fluff out these curls. Oh, some of them are still kind of wet. That is really annoying. We don't separate them anyway, girl. Okay, y'all. It, it looks so pretty. We've separated the curls. This is much better than I thought it was gonna be. I was a little bit scared. I'm loving how it looks. It's always one side that looks better than the other. Which side do y'all think looks better? I feel like it's this one. Next, we just need to go ahead and do our leave out now. For my leave out, typically I would just add a mousse and go but as you can see my hair has already been pre-stretched um i've been wearing it in a ponytail and like braiding it down and it stretches out my hair almost like a blowout what i need to do is why I do all this what does this do for me part it down the middle and we're going to get these curls together now i've been doing a finger coiling method for my hair and it's done a lot better than me adding mousse because my natural curls are much tighter than this so this is the Cantu I've been using this the whole time but this is the Cantu curl activator cream and this is what I do we take a little bit on the finger and I'm gonna take a section of hair and I'm gonna add the product to it and it has to be like for me it has to be a cream based product that's not extra like water based and I just take my finger and I coil my finger around it. It probably would have been better for me to do my pinky because my pinky is smaller and that's it probably will match the curls a little bit better. Just gonna have to work girl. So I'm just gonna hold it there for a few seconds, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute. I don't know. I'm just gonna hold it. Okay, so we're gonna let it out and you're not gonna pull. I'm just gonna go in like little ooh, rotations and look at that boom bow how you like me now um, okay so we're gonna do the same thing up here i'm gonna do a smaller section i'm gonna do it one more time show y'all what i'll be doing take this section of hair product on it and I avoid doing the roots because I don't want the roots to be all oily. So I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna wrap it around till we get to the top. And I'm just gonna hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. Those 
curls like are a tad bit bigger than the ones on here, but they blend and you can just, I'll let those set and dry and we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side doing the finger curls. Then I'll be back to tuck in the curls and show y'all the final look. Okay, so we've done the little finger coils. As you can see, like, they're a little bit looser. Well, they're a lot looser than the actual hair, but this is how we fix it. I take the hair and I just basically tuck it <clears throat> under the first layer of curls. Do the same thing here. Take it and then tuck it under. And then I do the same thing up here we tuck it under so if the hair pops out it's fine but when you tuck it you can't really tell the difference and i usually have to tuck throughout the day girl you just got to do a little touch up on your little tuck situation and then i like to pull the hair up front like that oh girl you can see tracks no ma'am can you do the same thing to this side I gotta cover them tracks too, girl. Y'all know I'm a track queen. <laughs> okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. I love it. It's cute, super cute. I love the look because it's a super cute bob. It's effortless. And look at them roots, honey. What a track set. But look how good it looks. Like the hair looks gorgeous my hair is blending in from the finger curls and it's so this wig is like super easy to style and apply but this is one of those units that you can just throw on without even wearing makeup now i want to show y'all what it looks like in the back it's disclaimer time i can't see behind my head please don't be judging me off the back of my head judge me from the front let me show y'all side angle okay oh the side angle is cute the side angle is super cute let me show you the back Let me see what it looks like because I usually don't know what it looks like until afterwards. We got a couple long curls just hanging out, loitering. It still looks good. Uh, I did good on this one. Girl, I did good. But I love how it ended up looking because it just looks like my hair. Like, it just looks like my hair. We ready for the summertime. Y'all see I ain't got no sleeves on showing you my armpits. Like, I'm ready for it to be warm. And I love with V-part wigs, even when the track because sometimes like a little bit of track will show on a V-part wig. You still can't see it, see it, unless somebody is digging in your scalp. I love the look. I love the styling. So cute. Y'all tell me what you think down below. I want to say thank you to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you're interested in this unit, of course, you know, we got a coupon code. We love coupon codes over here. If you would like to get $10 off of this wig purchase, you can use the coupon code Nadula TB to get $10 off. That's Nadula TB to get $10 off your wig purchase. I'll go ahead and leave the link for the wig, the link for Nadula hair. I'll leave the coupon code down below for you to use at your leisure. I'm proud of myself. I always get like, I don't think y'all understand how nervous I get before filming because I don't know how these wigs are gonna turn out. I have no idea. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.